first job with a new trailer. Not what we bought it for, but it works. says the track hoe is just for digging dirt and lemon. You can use it for hay. It actually works quite nicely. guys this is day two of our sprayer trailer project probably include this with some more clips of some other things but we will have one dedicated video to our sprayer trailer build or 
A lot of people call them a nurse trailer. It's what will feed water to our sprayer in the shed there. So what we're doing right now is this dig on wind. I'll tell you, in the, I'll stand in the shop and tell you. But what we're doing now, this was originally a grain trailer, flat deck grain trailer. They used to have hoist at granaries that the truck would sit on and they would raise the truck up like that to dump the grain. Well, a lot of the granaries done away with that and everybody went to hopper bottoms or dump trailers. So this was a grain, uh, flat deck grain trailer. It had grain sides on it, had a tarp on it. We didn't show pulling them off. I took the track hole and ripped them off. And uh, I know, or I took the track hole and I picked them up off of there and, and we trashed them. It was rotten plywood. And we've initially moved the axles, but we're thinking about just scooting them all the way plumb forward. This is a 42 foot trailer, but it has sliding axles on it. And we wouldn't have bought this long a trailer if it didn't have those sliding axles on it. So we can, we can slide these axles forward and it will pull like a shorter trailer. And we'll show you how that works in a moment. But right now what we're gonna do we're gonna go down here in the tool yard and we're gonna measure my 32 foot hopper bottom. We're gonna measure from the kingpin to the center of the front axle and see how it's set up because it pulls pretty easy. You can get in lots of tight spots with it. And we're probably gonna set this trailer on what it is. About 23 foot six inches from the kingpin to the axle. Hopefully, after the first of the year, we're going to have us a new shed out here. Looks like 27 foot. We're about three foot longer than the hopper bottom, and we still got three holes. So, we're probably just going to run with the axles slid all the way forward. What do you think? And that way, I actually... That'll probably be a little better because the way we're going to set this trailer up, we're going to have three tanks on it, a 1500, a 1500, and a 750 gallon tank. And that'll be uh, 3750 gallons and that will be five Phillips for our sprayer. And then the back deck, this is going to be storage for our totes, chemical totes and uh mixing cone and this is going to be our mixing station we'll have our pump up here and then we've got to fix us we've got to fix us a ladder to get up here so what we're going to go do now is we're probably going to show y'all moving these axles and then we're going to go look at another sprayer trailer and get some ideas So our first step, he's got the brake set on the truck and we went on and scotched the wheels too. But I've got to pull this lever and it pulls these pins. You pull it out till that catch catches. All right, pins are pulled on this side. Let's go check the other side. All right, they did good. The more we use it, the better it's getting. So now, I will signal for Robert to back up. Oh, let's the hire more. Hold up one second. I'm gonna go on and release my pins. They're spring loaded. So maybe when I hit the hole there, they'll catch. Bingo! And it's that easy. All right, these four, release your brakes and these four.
Joyce Farm seal of approval. We may want to uh, move them ever occasionally to. All right, we're still slight. We're one. We're two foot longer than our hopper bottom, but I think we can live with that. Like I said, 42 foot's pretty long, but you know what? It's kind of like in the movie Step Brothers when they build bunk beds. It's just that much more room for activities. Well, we are back from Humboldt. We got us some steel, and this steel is going to go on that trailer. We're going to use that to uh, cover the wood floor. And what we're trying to do with that is hopefully it's going to make it easier. We can uh, we can put uh, slide pallets on and off easier. Won't be hanging on the wood. And another thing is to prevent the uh, bolt or screw heads from rubbing on the bottom of these poly tanks that we're going to put on it. So with that said, let's uh, we're going to lay this steel out, and uh, it's supposed to be they sheared it off for us. We're not supposed to have to do any cutting or modifying. And uh, that was a whole lot easier than them taking that shear and shearing it off as opposed to me having to take the plasma cutter and rip down there four foot. But it's supposed to fit perfectly on this trailer. Let's find out and see. Like everything, I thought this was going to go fast, but... Instead of it taking a day, it's probably going to take a day and a half. The biggest darn thing is just taking a lot of time going down through there and welding all that stuff up. Pack it there and there, and then the auto bow take that hammer and knock it. Well, it's 5.17 p.m. And we don't normally work past five in the winter time, but we were, we kind of got on a roll laying this steel down and tacking it. So uh, we just kind of went with it. We lack how many sheets? One, two, one, two, three, four. Dang, we still like five sheets. So I guess you could say we're halfway done. We've got them tacked down the sides and uh, I tacked them in a few spots down the seams. We gotta do the seams tomorrow, but 
Well, uh, I'll check back in with you tomorrow and see where we're at.